Mr. Radnich, welcome back from vacation. Great to be back with the family. And you're just in time for the big pivotal game. Look at this. The halls are decked in gold and blue, and the Warriors are ready for game three. Do you see that picture of all the free shirts that were brought to crime? Absolutely. I have one. I slept. Remember how when the Niners play, I wear gold boots, and I slept in my gold t-shirt last night. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> so I'm, who are could, they playing? They need a little bigger. I don't even know who they're playing. Who are these fit? Um, the, are you kidding me? I, after after seeing that 40-point loss, my God, to the Clippers, I'm a little worried. But, you know, anything could happen because we beat them the first game in L.A. Yes. So, and, and Steph Curry seems, you know, optimistic and kind of go get him. And I just hope that it all works out. Yeah, I guess people they're, have to remember they're playing a better team. Yes, you know. a, three, a three and a six. I understand that. But I was like, it just seems like they figured out this way to keep the ball away from Steph. Yeah, now they, uh, they're double team. Every time he, what they say, turn the corner, there's another guy there. Uh. So that's the only thing, you know, like guys, like LeBron and uh, even that Durant that are bigger, right? Yeah. They can see over the defense, but when you're Steph's size, that's the one drawback is that maybe if you double team him, you know, it's hard to score. Oh, man. All right, so this is at 7.30 tonight. Uh, Sophie's choice of TV sports, right? Because you got 7.30, you can watch that, and then at 7.30 you watch uh, maybe the Sharks sweep L.A. and move on. Yes, and of course, don't forget 8 o'clock, Cron 4 prime time. <laughs> well, that'll cut right into my night. Exactly. I, so this is going to be great, too. I mean, this, they could move on in the playoffs if, yeah, if they well, beat L. That was a great game uh, the other night. Uh, was, uh, Monday night was it Monday night, Tuesday night, the Sharks. Yeah. That was great. So it's this is a really good time of the year, and it's been a while since we've had... Uh, you know, both teams made the playoffs last year, but be before that, it was just the Sharks for a while. Yeah. And it's just fun to have a game every night. It's all of the choices. And then it's going to be a Sophie's Choice for Thanksgiving, too, because all the football fans are going to go, do I be with my family or do I, do I watch this huge matchup with the 49ers and the Seahawks? Yeah, the schedules came out yesterday. I'll, I'll say this in a nice way. There's something about... I know people like to eat and they sit and watch a chair. Right. I'm still, something about a football game on Thanksgiving always rubs me wrong. Oh, yeah. See, see now, obviously, it rubs me wrong. I mean, but but I just like the fact that at least the schedule is out and all of you who wait for, like, okay, when am I free? When is the bye week? When I can, wedding, bar mitzvah? We can't do anything, honey. I got to look at the schedule. Yeah, I know. It's very funny, <laughs> but <laughs> 49ers play all those games uh, or they play, you know, a fourth of their games on primetime TV. Yeah, yeah. So And two times uh, with Seattle, and then 17 days later, they turn around and play Seattle again. Yes, uh, that, that's the only thing that was a little strange to me. Yeah. Is that you'd have what looks like uh, certainly one of the premier uh, matchups, which certainly has been the last couple of years, and you put them that close together, but that's all right. Yeah, and then in between, you got the 49ers playing the Raiders. Yep. In between those two Seattle games, and uh, as we know, uh, when you were gone, Terrell Pryor left uh, the Raiders and went over to Seattle. Went yeah, over well, to the that's, Seahawks. Yeah, that's the only reason I, I just say, why would Seattle pick him up? You know, it's pretty tough. That guy, uh, it's just one of those players. Pryor, he's a great athlete, but maybe, just maybe, is never going to be a good quarterback. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, and I can't say I don't really care. You know, I just don't want him to do anything for Seattle. Yeah. Uh, but um, with the Raiders, and you look at their schedule. Toughest in the NFL. I mean, this is ridiculous. Is they have, somebody is that a, a survey or your guess? Well, no. When we looked at added up, they got to play nine games against the last year's playoff teams. Nine yeah. other games. They got uh, one of the home games in London. They got two cross country trips in the first three weeks. I mean, it's grueling. Yes, and the only thing you can uh, say is that uh, you know, oftentimes you look at like playoff teams from last year, and then the teams that come back, they're not as good. But boy, right now, it, it, I looked at that schedule like the most everybody else. I said, boy, if you're one of the poorer teams, aren't you supposed to have an easier schedule? I guess, guess not. And I was sitting there going, what is the, why are, there was these two guys in the gym reliving the whole Niners Seahawks game. And they're like, the Sherman, the intercept. I'm like, why are you reliving this for 40 minutes on the bikes next to me? And now I realize this is all ignited. Everybody talking about, right? Okay, Kaepernick, how is he? Is it, was it a rookie mistake? They're rehashing it play by play. Do you it was talk torture. When you're exercising? I almost wanted to say, because I didn't know the schedule was out at that time, right? And I'm just saying, why now? I almost wanted to say, why? 40 minutes. Why are you reliving this? But I was like, you know what? 
I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, no, you can exercise <laughs> in front of people, right? Yeah, I'm exercise. I, in fact, so it's when I looked up and I saw Bochi 50 million times in replay <laughs> getting tossed from the game, yeah. from the Giants game. Yeah, no, and he, but you know what's funny? I kept watching the game and you would see the guy who, uh, the, who took his place, Ron Wotus, yeah, I would saw always him. glance down in the tunnel. And, oh, it's just like, what, are you looking to see if you'd be coming back? Well, no, no, no. What? It's like Bochi was probably telling him <laughs> what moves to make. I'm serious. You think, so? oh, stop it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that, that's been always uh, kind of the wives' tale for years, is that when a manager gets thrown out, yeah. he's still doing his thing. Oh, that's hilarious. Well, yeah. it worked out for him. They made they scored more runs in that one game with 11 innings than they had in the six games previous, all added up together. Yeah, that was, it's, it's really weird. You watch... The basketball and even the hockey, right. and then you you know then you flip and you watch a baseball game. It really does move slow. Yeah, so that was entertaining yesterday. Yeah, that There's was a lot of runs. And then and the A's, unfortunately, yeah, that didn't work out for them. They got swept by the Rangers. My gosh, you, you're so really on fire. We're all up to date now. Yep, yep, yep. All right. I'll tell you about my vacation <laughs> next, later. I'm, I'm sure it was thrilling. Listen, if this fits you, you need to get on the treadmill. I went to Miami. Yeah, is that where you went? Yeah, we all went to Miami. Very nice. Well, then maybe you got a little sunburn, huh? Yeah, well, no, a little bit. My wife is still, uh, she's on the uh, sunscreen, so. Did you, hang out with, did you hang out with LeBron? Uh, we went to the game. Did you? We saw Miami play. Set. Well, I'll tell you all about all it. All right, we'll talk tomorrow when I'm it's a slower I'm going to do a blog, my okay. vacation blog. All right, we'll see you, Karen. Uh,